Welcome back. We're continuing the news. A Manchester family is urgently seeking answers this evening after their mother was taken to hospital but ended up in a funeral home days later without their knowledge. The family is blasting the Mandeville Regional Hospital for seemingly breaking protocol and allegedly failing to properly care for their mother. Kalisha Williams has that story. It all started when Natasha Brooks took her mother, 78-year-old Virgie Brooks, to the emergency room at the Mandeville Regional Hospital in Manchester on Thursday, October 10. She spoke to me on Friday all day. She spoke to me on Saturday all day while she was in the ER. I realized that the oxygen was really moving fast. And so it was giving her life for her to speak. However, she said things took a turn for the worse when her mother was transferred to the female medical ward. After paying her a visit on Saturday, October 12, and then again on Tuesday, October 15. I showed my niece that the oxygen was not going as it usually went, and I walked away about 6.47 when I said visiting time was over, and I was so scared for my mother. I was scared I know that with the level of which the oxygen tank was moving, it was not possible for her to survive. Still, the family was hopeful. However, on Wednesday, October 16. I was about to leave my home for work Wednesday morning when I received a call from a funeral home stating to me that if I have a debt, and I said, who is this? Where you get my number from? And they, she told me that she got my number from the hospital. So we were contacted by a funeral home to say that our mother was dead and not the hospital. No doctor, no nurse contacted the family. Angry, frustrated, and desperate to get answers, the family went back to the hospital. I said to them at the hospital, how does a funeral home, why does a funeral home contact me before the hospital contact me? Where did, how, how did the funeral home get got my number? The victim's son, Kemar Brooks, said the hospital told him that they tried to reach a family several times but did not get a response. However, he told TVJ News that the family did not get any calls from the facility. Now, not only are they blaming the hospital for seemingly breaking protocol, but they believe there are questions surrounding their mother's death. I know that they're going to tell me that she died because of a heart failure. But my mother died because they failed to give her the sufficient oxygen to keep her alive. When TVJ News contacted the acting regional director, who is in charge of the hospital, we were told that a verbal report was made to the hospital, and the facility has since launched an investigation into the claims about the family not being contacted before the body was sent to the funeral home. However, the hospital said there are no reports about the claim of low oxygen levels administered to the patient. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News. Urgent.